Hey guys, what's up? This is Tom from TTT Tom's Tech Time again with a quadrocopter special. Today we're going to throw a look at the home lock mode um, of your quadrocopter that you find on the upper left side of your radio control and that you might not know how to deal with and what it actually is. So, but before you watch that tutorial, uh, make sure that you know how to use the course lock mode because that's somewhat important for the home lock as well. If you haven't watched my tutorial about that, check it out. I will put a link right here so you can click that. Um, if you already know what the course lock is, let's get started with the home lock. Okay guys, let's imagine that we flew our drone right over there and maybe a kilometer or something away from us and that is pretty far away. So. And now I have lost the visual contact, but the radio control is still in contact with the drone, so no failsafe or something. How can we get the drone back to where we are without knowing what it's pointing at, uh, without knowing where the back and the front is? That is actually super simple. You take your radio control, activate the home lock, and then you pull the trigger back. And all you do is hold it like that and the, the phantom will come right at you. Wherever it was before, whatever it was pointing at, doesn't matter. So now let's get into it a little more detailed. Uh, first off, it's very important that you turn on the IOC uh, of your quadrocopter within the software. Um, the software comes from DJI and you can find it on DJI's website. You simply go there, download, the uh, exe file and install it and then you put the little USB cable that came with your qu uh, quadrocopter right in here and the other end into your computer and there you go within the software you click on advanced and the next tab you click is IOC and there you can enable or disable IOC make sure that your radio control is turned on as well. Because if it's not turned on, it won't work. I had some problems turning it on because when I clicked advanced, uh, there was simply no IOC tab I could click. So they made it a little tricky, but we can get around it as well. Uh, on the upper right hand side of the software, there is a button phantom. You simply click it and then a little warning pops up that says, do you really want to go into the NASA mode, NASA M, NASA M, whatever, whatever it's called. Do you want to be that brave? And I said, yes, I want to be that brave. And you click yes and blah, 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 blah. And then the mode is activated. Then again, you click on advanced and then you will find the IOC tab and can activate the IOC, intelligent orientation control function. If you have turned the IOC at your computer on, it's actually not that hard bringing the drone up in the air, but you should know some details. Let's say, I'm going to put a small graphic in here. Uh, the midpoint is where I am with my radio control. So about here maybe. Around me, there is a circle. And that circle is five to 10 meters uh, tall, big, has a radius. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Okay, perfect. So it's a five to 10 meter circle. And all around it, there is another big circle you can imagine. That's everything around the first circle. So the first thing, the little dot in here, that is me, the home point. The circle means that it's the course lock within the five to 10 meters. You cannot use the home lock function. You can only use the course lock. And all around that five to 10 meters, you have the home lock function. So what that means is if I, for example, have the drone up there, yeah? And the drone is pointing there as well. And uh, I am pulling it back. It flies back until it reaches that circle, this five to 10 meter circle. And when it reaches that circle, it, it immediately, I mean, you're, you don't have to do it. It does it itself. It turns itself into the course lock mode. So if you have set it to a different angle before, it might fly a little curve or something because the back might not be right at you because the back might be I don't know maybe over there then it goes for a little curve I don't know maybe I can put a little graphic on there so that you can imagine it better so but that's not that bad if you want to turn it off at that time you can simply 
click off on your radio control and then, then it's turned off. But so again, now let's take a deeper look at the home lock mode. Um, if we turn on the home lock mode, everything is the, about the home point, about the person with the uh, remote control. I, I mean, you can set a manual home point, but we will get to that later. Um, so if I push the drone away, if I push it to the front, it will always go out in a straight line wherever I put it to from the home point. It will always go away from the home point. Doesn't matter what it, uh, it's looking at, what it's pointing at, what it's rotated like. And the same with flying it back. So if I pull it back, it doesn't matter what it's pointing at, it's still, it always comes back to the home point. And now there's another funny thing. You can fly curves with it. That's the only mode you can really fly good curves with. Because if I, uh, am in, when I'm in the home lock mode and I'm out there, let's say I am 20 meters away and I push it to the right, it won't fly to the right only. It will fly a curve around the home point. And the same if I push it to the left, it will fly a curve around the home point. And at the same time, of course, you can rotate it. Doesn't matter, it will still fly that curve around the home point. So that is pretty cool. And now, after all the theory, let's get it up in the air and that way we can show it a little better to you. Okay guys, I'm going to describe it a little better to you, the circle thing. I'm simply going to send you up there. Okay. I think you are up far now. So now imagine, I am the home point. And around me, 5 to 10 meters circle, is course lock that you've set before. So if it enters on the way back, it might go for a little curve. And all around this 5 to 10 meter circle, the whole area is the home lock area. It's actually as simple as that. So come on guys, that's not too hard to understand, is it? I will go through uh, the settings with you. So now let's point the camera over there because I said take care of the course lock as well. So first off, turn on the radio control, then turn on the quadrocopter. And now even though it's super there is super much light around me now. We gotta wait for the GPS signal for the case that a failsafe or something like that happens. So right there, it has locked the GPS. And now we're going to lock the course lock. So course lock. And now there's a yellow light blinking with the green light. And now the copter knows that the front is over there. Now let's turn it back off and bring the drone up in the air. So now the first thing that we do is we fly the drone away. Maybe, I mean, it has to get out of this five to 10 meter circle. So let's fly it away some meters. So that should be enough. And now I rotate it in the sky. And now let's say I have lost the visual contact with that drone. How do I get it back? It's super simple. I turn on the home lock mode and I pull it back. And you, as you can see, even though the front is somewhere else, it comes back right at me. And when it enters this five to 10 meter zone, it will fly to a different direction. As you can see, why is that happening? Again, because we've before set the course lock to point the front over there. So now it was flying to the back because I was holding this back. So again, now let's turn it back off. Let me fly it out there. If I put the home lock in and pull it back, it will come right at me. And when it, when it enters this five to 10 meter circle, it will fly to the back side that was set before in the uh, course lock, which is over there. Now, please camera follow the drone, it will come at me and then it will do a little curve over there. I'm pulling it back at me. It's coming right at me. And then it will go for a little curve when it enters the five to 10 meters circle. There you go. Have you seen it? 
Have you seen it? Perfect. Okay, and now I want to show you another function. Let's first fly it out a couple of meters. That, maybe that much. Now let's point the camera at me. That way you can see me. And now let's activate home lock and fly a curve. Wait a second, I want to point the camera at us. And see, I'm only pointing it to the left and the camera, all the camera is doing, and the drone, of course, is flying a curve. It's, oh, I don't know what the camera is pointing at. Oh, there you are, guys. <laughs> so if I push it to the left and am in the home log mode, as you can see, the drone is flying a circle around me. Even though I'm rotating you guys all the time, I'm trying to uh, point the camera at me so you can see me. I'm doing nothing besides pointing you to the left and rotating the front so that it shows at me. As you can see, it flies a freaking curve. That is cool, isn't it? There you go, guys. Okay, guys, now I could really say I've lost the visual contact or I don't know where the front and where the back of the camera is, but we can still get it back. Again, home lock mode, wait one or two seconds, pull it back, and I'm going to tell you guys, it's going to come right here. I don't even have to look at it. Whoa. It's really far away, I can't even hear it. So I'm not going to take a look at it, but it will be here in a couple of seconds. Because I'm not at full speed. <laughs> Is it coming at me, camera person? Oh, it's coming right at me. I really, I can't hear it. it come on, let's speed it up a little. <laughs> now I can hear it. I think it's up there. Look at it! Isn't that brilliant? It is there. Home lock is awesome. Home lock really, really rocks, guys. Okay, guys, we had some stunning results actually with the home lock, and it works out perfect. Now I want to show you one last thing. How can we set a new home point when being up in the sky so that if we push it back, um, it comes right at that point and not back at us, or it goes from that point away? So let's bring the drone up in the air again, and I will show to you, it's super simple actually. Now let's activate a manual home point, simply by uh, changing between the course lock and the home lock button five times, like that. And then we fly out the camera, Let's fly it five to seven meters out of that circle. And let's now activate the home lock. Let's push it back. And as you can see, it goes right at that point. Okay guys, thank you for watching this home lock video that I made for you. And I hope that you understood everything. If you haven't, simply leave a comment down there. And uh, I'd be glad if you if you would subscribe to my channel and if you would like and rate and whatever the video. And uh, if you want to know more stuff about the Phantom, simply ask me, send me a video with your question or watch my other tutorials. So guys, and what do we do at the end of every good trip? My assistant is going to tell you. I'm going to McDonald's. We are going to have some good old fast food from the States. That is what your culture gave us Americans. Thanks a lot. There it is. Enjoy it. That was TDT Tom's Tech Time with the super special McDonald's end. Ending. End ending. Uh -huh. So, what are we having? Everything. Uh. We're going to have this.